Hi, first and second year pupils and parents. My name is Mrs Downey. I'm just here to give you a quick tutorial on how we are using our new Parents Evening website. So unfortunately, during these restrictions, we can't have any parents in the building at this moment, but we know as parents and as staff how important it is to continue to discuss your child's learning and attainment and so that everybody is very clear on what the next steps in learning are. So we are hosting our parents evenings this year digitally using an online platform and it's still very new to us and it's obviously new to you as well. So I've got a couple of screenshots which I'll just talk you through to hopefully make this process as easy as possible. So I've got a couple of parents evenings coming up. We've got S2 parents evening on Wednesday the 17th of March and we've got the first year parents evening on Thursday the 22nd of April. And as within school, they will run from quarter past four to quarter past six. But as I say, they will be hosted online. So in any web browser, we just type in www.parents with an S hyphen booking.co.uk forward slash Castlebury. So when you type that into any web browser, you will see the following page with the Castlebury logo on the left hand side and a blue page for the parents information on the right hand side. So on the right hand side, we've got some information required to log in. It asks first for the parents or carers information. So their first or surname is mandatory and it must match what we hold on our system for you. So any correspondence which comes from school with the parent and carers details on it, that must be what goes into this box. The email address is optional, but it's a really good option to put in here. Um, it doesn't need to match what we hold on our system but it just gives you the option to email your appointments to your, your own email address at the end of this process. It then asks for your child's um, first name and surname, date of birth, and then you press the login button at the bottom. So you'll be taken to a page which looks like this. It will have your name, it'll say welcome and your name at the top so we know um, it's the right page. You've got the date of the parents evening and you have a couple of suggestions about how to book. So before I do that, I'm going to just show you if you scroll to the bottom of that page, if you are not available at quarter past four or you're not available at quarter past six and you would prefer to try and schedule your appointments within a slightly shorter window, you can edit the arrive and depart buttons to times that suit yourself and the system will try and adapt and make you sure your appointments are within these times. So if you would like to suggest appointments for you, that means that the computer will try and generate a program and a timetable for you which goes back to back rather than have big gaps and trying to work out when staff are free and you have an appointment. So I would very much suggest that we use the suggest appointments for me. And if you click that button, you'll be taken to a page which displays all your child's teachers and subjects and it looks like this. Now, the majority of parents will want to choose the select of all available parents, that button at the top left that you can see. But if for any reason you would just like to select a couple of teachers, you can click individually in these boxes and they will turn blue once you've selected the members of staff. So I've clicked here, select all available teachers. So my next page would look like this. All teachers selected and it will ask me to confirm bookings. So when I have selected the bookings, I get to this page, they hold the bookings for five minutes just to ensure that, you're make, that everything is going to work for you. So as you can see on here, the first appointment would be Ms. Walker with Mandarin at quarter past four. It then would move on to Ms. Brownlee at 22 minutes past four, Ms. Fletcher at 29 minutes past, and it's just to ensure that these are fine for you. So the appointment slots are six minutes. Um, which is quite fast, but we find with the other year groups, we're managing to work it okay. So if you want to add in a comment to any member of staff so that you can keep on track of what and anything in particular that you want to discuss, click the add comment button and you can put in things that you want to make sure and that member of staff will get an alert as well so that they know that you want to discuss that um, just to make sure we don't run out of time. So once you're happy with all these bookings, you can press confirm bookings at the top there and it will take you to a page which looks like this. Again, it gives you a chance here to add a comment if you've not already done so. Please don't feel pressured to do so, but it's just for your and for the teacher's um, notifications that we've got something there. 
So if you want to print out a copy, you can, these buttons at the top left hand side, or you can email yourself an appointment, or they can also be synced to your calendar on your phone or your iPad. Okay. So once that's done, that's the appointments booked and they are secured for you. The button at the top with the green arrows pointing return to dashboard okay, will take you back to where we were at the start. So you've booked your appointments and it's just a chance for you to make sure that all your settings on your device that you're going to use are working. So that if you click the video settings button at the top here, you will just get taken to a stage where it's asking you to allow you to use your microphone. Now, obviously, that's so that your teachers can hear you and that you can hear them properly. So if you press allow in here, it will come up with a little microphone. The microphone will start to pick up your voice and you press apply. On the next page, you will see yourself in a video. This, you do not need to join with your video on if you would prefer, but the staff will mainly be joining with their videos on just to try and recreate as much as possible what would be happening in the school building at that time. But you can press apply and it takes you. OK, so that's us booked on our appointments. And all we need to do now is on the evening of Parents Night, you need to log back onto the same website, which is www.parents-booking.co.uk forward slash Castlebury and use the same details which we have already entered at the start to book and you will be taken to a screen which has got a list of your appointments and it will have a blue button in the middle which says join this video meeting now. So a couple of minutes before your first meeting is due to take place this box will appear you click that box and you will start to see your video and your camera and your microphone all setting up. Again if you don't want to join with your video on that's okay but you need to have your microphone on. So you'll see the member of staff appear at the time that your appointment is due to take place and you will see a countdown timer in the top corner. So it's six minutes when the call connects and you have time to discuss your young child's um, attainment and it will then move on to your next appointment automatically. So the benefit of this system is that nothing will run late. Um, and once you're logged on to your first appointment, you don't need to come out of calls or do anything else, but you just wait to connect to the next member of staff. So we hope that this works uh, effectively for you and it gives you time to discuss your child's attainment and progress this year and allows you to ask any questions that you might have as well at the same time. So as I say, unfortunately, we can't extend appointments or make them shorter. They're all based on six minute appointments. But if you feel it needs to be continued afterwards, please just drop the um, teacher a quick email and they will arrange for a call to be made to follow up what you've been discussing. But generally, most parents are finding that the time works. And once you're logged on, as I say, just sit back. You don't need to touch anything and you will just be taken from teacher to teacher. In the top corner, it will always remind you of the teacher's name and what subject they are. And it will just follow the plan that you've already made. If you have any questions at all or any issues getting booked on, please just drop me a wee email at nicola.downey at castlebury.edin.ach.uk or phone the school office on 661 1282. And I know our staff are really looking forward to chatting to you.